Hey, do you own one of these? Maybe smart plugs? Maybe some Android TVs? Cheap tablets? You know, smart speakers or photo frames? Then you probably are at risk. So often people ask me how to secure their home network. And if you have seen Linus video, I think last year, you'll see how vulnerable these devices actually are. Sometimes you get a free tablet for 30 pounds or dollars. And when you actually go into logs in your router, you'll see that so much data is being transferred away from your home through this tablet or any other device. And it's just uh, one of the risks you are facing that the data can be stolen, sold to third parties. But even higher risk is that someone could use this device to hack into your home network because this could be like an access point the weakest point in your uh, network because what internal devices can do in your home network is that they are allowed to establish establish external con um, external like a tunnel to some remote location and then they can send send all sorts of commands to this safe tunnel to do all sorts of damage in your home network so I'm good. On this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, secure your home network, the easiest ways to do it. And you have heard probably something about NDAA or TAA. This is uh, about in America, you have this um, national defense uh, certificates and acts that uh, all these manufacturers need to uh, respect and have these certificates with their products. That means that if they are certified by NDAA, that means no data can be sent out of these devices to some other countries where not, not other countries, even hackers could not steal your data. So they could not log into your bank accounts and steal your money. So the first and the easiest thing what you can do is um, getting either another router or smart switch because anything you connect to this separate router has its own internal bubble, internal network. So they have no access to your uh, main network. So the one router could be used for your laptops, phones, anything what you have um, important data on. And then you have another router or smart switch where you can connect your smart speakers, plugs, Android TVs, tablets, and, and, and things like that. So you always know that whatever happens with that network where these devices are connected it's never going to affect your devices in like laptop and computers in that safe network but um, there's another way you can you can manage things so if you have um, semi-smart router like Synology router maybe QNAP uh, smart switches or routers or um, Unify things like that there's something called VLAN so VLAN is effectively something what I just explained already, that you have this separate router where you connect things to, but this is a virtual version of it. So you're going to have only one router, but it's going to create virtual mini networks on this router uh, where you can connect to through Wi-Fi or, or through the LAN. Connecting through the LAN might require another smart switch though, but most of the devices nowadays are connecting through Wi-Fi. So you can create this private virtual Wi-Fi network where you can connect all these plugs to and you don't need to worry about data being stolen. I'm going to show you now how to set this up on Synology router. It should be similar process on any other router you have. So with Synology router, I have MR2200AC. It's a very simple and basic router for I think 100 pounds or dollars but it does allow VLAN. So you need to go to a default IP if you haven't changed. It's usually 10041, port 8000, and then use your username and password to log into that router. You can then head to Network Center and then go to Local Network. You can then see I have uh, the primary network which is my primary Wi-Fi and, and LAN ports. And then there's a secondary network, which is a guest network. These two are usually created by default. 
but then there's a third network which I have called IoT. I had just created a, a network, a VLAN, which I can connect all these smart speakers and, and tablets and things like that to it to keep them safe from the rest of the or keep the other devices safe from these uh, Dagi tablets. So you can see they are, they are having separate IP range so they could not see what's going on in the other networks. Let's set up uh, another virtual private network. Synology routers have limit of five VLANs but um, in real life all you need is probably one, two or three. One maybe for really dodgy stuff, the basic plugs, smart plugs, really dodgy tablets, something like that. Then there could be second level which you can trust these devices a little bit more like Google speakers or reputable brands and TVs probably, LG TV if it's smart TV and other things but anything what you are not trusting is imported from other countries you probably want to put them in the risky class VLAN so you will have then three levels that risky, dodgy stuff, VLAN for that then there's mid-tier, something you can trust but not fully because it's something you don't keep your important data on and then the top tier the most secure VLAN for the devices like your computers and things like that so to create a new VLAN you need to click create it's a very simple process give it a name um, let's say mid tier and then choose a new range of IP addresses you can Go for default range or you can set up your, your own one it doesn't really matter you're gonna have be given a vlan id this is something you can use on your smart switch if you want to uh, add vlan through the lan ports <coughs> through your smart switch but as i said most of the devices are connecting through wi-fi you don't need this extra managed switch and there are two important tick boxes you need to pay attention to <coughs> First is allow managing Synology router through this network. So you make sure that this is not ticked. It means anyone connected to this VLAN will never have a chance, ability to connect to this router admin panel and change any settings and give any permissions. Always unticked on, on dodgy networks. You always, obviously you want to keep it ticked if it's like top tier uh, VLAN where you keep all your secure devices, important data. Then enable network isolation. That means if you have ticked this, that means these plugs and these tablets, they cannot talk to each other. Even though they are in one network, they cannot talk to each other. So you want to have this enabled. If this tier involves uh, smart speakers, not maybe even not smart speakers, I would say uh, tablets, maybe smart plugs. There is an exception when you want these devices to talk to each other. If you have IoT devices, so like smart window curtains and things like that, so they need to communicate to each other. In that case, you will need to leave that unticked because you want these devices to speak to each other. For example, smart speakers, you may want them to be linked together, like Google Smart Homes. You can have multi-room setup where the music plays throughout the entire house and they all need to be connected otherwise you wouldn't need that and then you click next and then you set up a new Wi-Fi it's gonna appear in your uh, Wi-Fi uh, on your phone if you want to connect to your Wi-Fi so you can give it a name like tier mid made or something whatever give it a password and click next you need to remember passwords so you can see all the settings you have chosen and click apply it might take a few seconds to create this new vlan this new ssid network wi-fi for other devices to connect to once that is done you can start connecting your smart plugs to this network so first of all if you use your phone you'll need to connect yourself with this phone for time being, with that phone to connect to this tier you'll be connecting these plugs to because you will probably have this admin app on your phone because you will have to have the same Wi-Fi on your phone and the smart plug you're, connect you're going to be connecting them to 
So go new. So now I have created this new uh, tier, mid tier, and this is what I said. Now I can see this new Wi-Fi on my phone and connect to these plugs. And that's it. Now when you have connected all your smart plugs to this uh, VLAN, this private network, it's secure. They cannot do any damage to your important network where your computers live on. And whenever ha something happens, the damage will be done only in that local little bubble of those devices that do not mean much to you anyway. I hope this video was helpful. As always, if you need help, Go to NAS Compares, fill the form, and we will get back to you. Cheerio.